Well, this is my 55 gallon saltwater tank. I thought I should start some sort of video journal of it. Um, it is about two months old. Um, started with a 10 gallon tank and then almost immediately went to 55 gallon. Uh, got a bunch of fish, added them to the 10 gallon tank as a quarantine and then I was like, no, nah, let's just move them all together because it was like seven fish in a quarantine and three in this 55 gallon tank and we thought it was silly. So one of them is not doing so well on the bottom right. The orange backed fairy wrasse has some white garbage in its eye. I'm not sure if it's an injury or if it's sick. Um, all the coral is from like online or a coral sale through a local shop. Um, I bought some stuff online once, um, but like Craigslist is the way to go. I got clownfish, got a flame hawk fish uh, on the rock on the right. I got a black leopard wrasse kind of in the center picking off copepod type stuff. Uh, I got two on the left. Here, we'll zoom in. Bengai Cardinals. Got a Royal Grandma in the back left. Health Freaky Firefish. We got this cool guy, Starry Blenny. And yeah, look at this poor guy's eyeball. I'm assuming he'll die soon or I'll give him away. But it'd be cool if he lived. Um, and then Corals. Got some sort of torch with a green mouth. Got this like pink Cadillac SPS, which is for a grow out competition. Um, no idea what that is. I have it written down somewhere. Some sort of plate coral, a little Zoa garden, another torch. I got two torches in this holiday box thing that was really cool. I got Aussie Duncan. I got some sort of clam. If you know what that is, let me know. It'd be awesome to know. Um, it's a mystery to me. It just came in a mystery box. Look at how cool this Starry Blenny is. Starry Blenny on, I think it's like Hollywood Stunner Chalice. Um, I think this is a Duncan. And I think these are like Macromusas, uh, like rainbow red Macromusa. Um, this guy's pretty cool. Can't remember what it is. It's not a Ghanipora, it's the other one. Look at this giant big eyes on this cardinal. Um, got a, uh, who's this? Blacker Ice Clown. We had two clowns, but one died like almost immediately. And a little Yuma, I think. Mushroom, rainbow. I think that's all the corals. Oh, this one. Uh, haul it. What's it called? Space Invader, maybe? So, yeah. That's the, uh, the old tank setup. And then I have these online uh, lights. Not sure what they're called. And I have uh, plexiglass covering. Oh, Viper Spectro lights. There we go. Plexiglass covering one side, and then another one is kind of uh, covered um, by the uh, coral, the frag plug grate, so the fish don't jump out, but there's some oxygen. And then the sump, got some Chato heater, a skimmer, um, they're a pretty cute little skimmer. Got the, uh, we're doing, what's it called? Oh, in the top left, this is my, like, drip system for Kalkwasser. I'm just doing, like, a tiny, tiny bit every night. Um, let's see. This side, my auto top off and pump. It used to be, like, an external pump, but I moved it all inside. And there's some, like, some media in there. But yeah, it's a pretty cool tank. Pretty happy with it. It's my first one in like eight years. Oh, and it has the uh, Christmas Christmas themes right now. But uh, it'll be cool to watch it grow. 
and if you want to see that happen oh wait a second I should I should show you wait I have an urchin hiding in here and my cleanup crew is like this guy is like a fighting conch and I got a uh, cleaner shrimp you can see his like tentacles just barely I also have a yellow spotted goby who had a snapping shrimp bud but when I moved them from the 10 gallon tank, they uh, they were separated. But yeah, looking forward to watching it grow and updating it. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, please follow along for more.